Hey everybody, my name is Daphne Bansberg and I am a Team Beach Body Coach. And you are likely watching this video because you are part of my, um, my training site. And um, I wanted to show you guys my personal um, uh, contact list and also uh, my Beach Body customers. I know that uh, Beach Body provides us with a contact list. Um, however, I decided to make my own because I feel like I could create something that's a little bit more efficient. Um, you know, Beachbody wants us to follow the, um, the five steps to inviting because they work. And I agree with them 100% and we should stick to those principles. But when you look at the uh, Beachbody contact list, it's great for someone who's just starting out and kind of needs to be reminded of where they're at as far as their invite. But once you get really used to that, um, me personally, I didn't want to keep using it because it, I felt like it was a lot of writing out and um, it was just kind of time consuming. So um, I just want to go over, um, again, my contact list and then also my, um, my Beachbody customers that ended up enrolling and how all that works. Okay. So for the contact list, I would, um, I have a big contact list. I just can't share it with you guys because it has, you know, um, other people's personal information on it. But so I'm just going to show you what each of the um, categories is. So we'll start with um, contact list. So what you're going to do is you're going to go on Facebook or Instagram or through your phone and you're going to look for people that you're going to invite. Now, usually before I start inviting, I don't usually randomly go looking, but if I do right away, I'll put their name here. So let's say um, for the day, I'm going to contact um, five people. So I'll put um, John, Katie, and I would usually put their last name as well, but um, Mary, and uh, okay and Josh okay so today I'm going to decide these are the people that I want to contact and then usually what I'll write on their contact info is you know where did I find them so I'll put Facebook um, I can put you know um, they were a contact I had on my phone or um, again Facebook and just to make it easy you know, there are times where um, people will contact you instead of you contacting, contacting them because you posted about a challenge group or something like that. Then what you would do is, as soon as they contact you, go to your contact list and put their name so you do not forget about them. And then put, um, you know, again, their contact info and their name. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to you know, we're going to think about it, we're going to look at their profile, we're going to see where they're at in life, you know, is their page inspiring, um, are they already really into health and fitness, or do you feel like, you know, they would benefit from a challenge group, then here you could write, a, you know, a potential coach or not. Um, so for John, we'll say, um, no, uh, no, no, and then for Josh, we'll say, sure, yes. And then if I'm unsure, I just put yes, no, but... Um, that's just me. How you fill this out is up to you. I just kind of want to give you the basics of what I do to help stay on track. And then if I did put yes for somebody um, who would be a potential coach. So, um, you know, let's say I posted about a sneak peek group and somebody says, you know, oh, I want to join. I want to be in the sneak peek group. Then you would here put, um, you know, the date. So we'll say, um, you know, 29. 15. So that's the date that we have our next group. So you would tell Josh, you'd say, hey, you know what? We have a sneak peek coming up on the 29th, yada, yada, yada. And then you would put the date here so that you know when the day comes, you can add him to the group. And then these people are either not interested in coaching or you kind of want to see where things, you know, take them. Then what you would do is you would do your, um, your invite. You would do your initial steps you know, ask them questions about their fitness journey and things like that. Once they're, um, once they agree to that and, and they decide, yeah, you know, this is something I'm interested in. That's when you recommend them a program. So, uh, once you recommend their program, you can say, you know, body beast, 
um, 21 day fix, combat, you know, whatever it is that they end up choosing. Um, 21 day fix extreme. So now you have that. And then let's say, for example, anywhere here or anywhere in the invite, they don't respond to you. Um, you can put a follow up date here that you wish to, you know, recontact them again. Or if they tell you like, oh, you know what? I just don't have the money right now. Or, um, you know, I'm really busy with life and I wouldn't have the time for this, you know, and they say maybe next month, then you would put next month. So today is September 9th. So I can t contact them next month, um, let's say mid-month, whoops, I'm sorry, okay, and then you know that, so that when you're done with this, you can keep referencing here for everything, and then here would be enrollment, this you would just put a yes if they have enrolled, and then you would go over and put them in your customer list, which we will go over after. So let's say we're at somebody who needs a follow-up date. You can ex take notes here and explain why, you know. Uh, they don't have time this month or whatever. You know, or even if you're anywhere here, you can write whatever notes you need to to help remind you what you're contacting them about. And then when you speak to them again, then you just erase this and put new notes. I like that. I like that instead of having continuous notes hanging around because if you really started a conversation with somebody, you can always go back in your Facebook and check. I just feel like it gets too messy um, when you have to when you have way too much information in one thing. So this is how I like to do it, you know. So and then if they're not interested and they're completely done, you've contacted them a bunch of times, you can just put Whoops, not interest. Okay, so that's how this contact list works. Like I said, I, I personally prefer to use this, but again, as a beginner, I would suggest doing the five-step contact list. But once you get a little better at this and kind of have it all figured out, I recommend you start using this. So I hope this was helpful for you. If you guys have any questions, please email me or please email your upline coach. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.